By the end of this video, you'll be able to build your own Motion Blue version 4 RetroPie image just like you're seeing on the screen now with any system from Atari to Nintendo 64. First off, huge shout out to David Marty who made this front end Motion Blue. It's gorgeous. It does come with a track mode, but you can totally use it in the emulation station only as well. Um, this is version 4. I'm sure version 5 will come out soon. And uh, in order to download it, I'm going to put a mega link in the description below. It's 5.39 gigabytes. You do need to download that. But that's going to come with all your image files and your snap files and everything you need. Um, as far as the ROM packs, you can get them here. They're already ready for you, so you can just build. You can pick the the systems you want, download the ROM pack, and go from there. Uh, I've already downloaded the image, so to get started, let's just go ahead and we have the we had the uh, the RAR file. You just double click this; it should extract these four files: three README files and the actual .img file here. So I now have my SD card. I'm going with a 32 gigabyte here. A 16 gigabyte will work. Um, keep that all in the default options. There you go. So I have clicked the folder, got my IMG folder, my IMG file there. My device is set, and I'll just go ahead and click the right key. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And this process, you know, 10 gigs probably going to take you 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the, how fast your um, micro SD card is. This one's not super fast. Yeah, as you can see, the definitely the brands dictate how fast this goes all right so while that's writing so here's some of the ROM packs I downloaded myself as you see like the Super Nintendo ROM pack comes with four RARs and as you open it it has all the information all the games you want and the thing is the game names match the the files here so asa.s.p.space Dash space airstrike patrol and then there's USA. You notice that the ROM is the exact same spelling, the exact same punctuation. That's how that's how the um, the RetroPie and emulation station. That's how it knows what pictures and what videos to match up with what game. Is all the writing for the file names have to be the same, the exact same. If they're not, you're going to have problems. So that's why these packs are great because all that work. And trust me, over, <laughs> think about it, if you had to do that 700 times. So all that work is already done for you. So once this thing is done writing, we're just going to boot it into our Pi. Okay, so that took about four minutes, but this is, a, this is not a super high-end brand SD card. It is a class 10, but it's just a little slower. I'm using the Xbox 360 controller, and I'm just going to hold down the A button on here, and then you can see you can find it. It's a good controller because... You don't need to install any drivers. You should be able to see it automatically. You are also going to need a keyboard if you're going to do Wi-Fi, unless you're going to plug in your controller. And right now, I'm just I'm just uh, configuring my controller. Everything it tells me to do, I'm just doing on here. They're all very easy. The one that might trick you is there's a thumb, and the thumb is to click into the controller. If you don't want to do it, just hold down any button, and then it'll say not defined, and you can skip it. So, for example, the thumb clicking in, you could skip that. And most games don't even use that. So as you can see, all these emulators come pre-installed. So there's already an Amiga, Amiga CD, Dreamcast, MS-DOS, uh, ports. It already comes with Kodi and Pixel, which is the operating system if you want to do like NSCUM VM and ZX Spectrum. So Kodi and Pixel, Pixel is like a desktop computer. So you can use, uh, it comes with Minecraft, other things, and then Kodi. This is a great build because not only does it look great, you're going to see in a second, we're going to see some video snaps. But you get a lot of things pre-installed on it already. First thing to do is connect to the internet. If you're plugged in via um, the LAN cable, like a hard line Ethernet, you don't have to do this process, but Wi-Fi is really easy. Just go down to Wi-Fi and uh, click the Wi-Fi network. I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to show you my IP address and everything, but you're just going to connect, find the network, type in the password, and you're done. After you're done connecting to the network, just hit exit. You should be back out to this screen. You can now access your Pi from any computer. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to jump on a computer and access our Pi. So on the right side here, we have my hard drive. I have already downloaded the NES pack and unrard it. I also have the Super NES and the Super Famicom packs already unrard, ready to go. If I click in here, here's all the games. So if you now the other now on this side on the left browser I can go ahead and go into my RetroPie. If you can't see RetroPie, you can type in the IP address manually, and you can get the IP address back of that RetroPie menu on the Pi. It says Show IP. Otherwise, go into ROMs here, 
And since we're already in Super Nintendo on the right side here, on the left side we're going to go to SNES. Look for that folder. Okay, great. And uh, as you can see, for this part you want to transfer over this whole directory on the right side to the left side, even the snaps and the wheel artwork. And that's going to give you everything you need to set up this image with all the information and the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the whole thing, all snaps, everything. And as you see, it's 2.25 gigs for everything. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So let's just let this go, and it should transfer everything over. So as you can see here, we have the ROMs that are on the hard drive, and then here we're in the RetroPie. So you can see we're in RetroPie, ROMs, and now when you click on SNES, all the ROMs should be here. As you see, it's a little slower with the Wi-Fi. I'm also downloading something right now, so it's a little slower. We have our wheel artwork. We have our snap videos. We have our box art, all the little games, all that good stuff is now on our Raspberry Pi. And it's that simple of a process of just putting it in the right folder. So N64 would go here, uh, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, NES Classic, Sega Mega Drive, Sega Mega Jags Japan, MAME Libretro of all your arcade games. Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, Game Boy Color, Sega Genesis. So you just need to make sure you put the games in the corresponding folders. And all the folders are here, like almost every single system is already here in the ret Motion Blue, not Retro Blue, Motion Blue version 4. So let's go back into our Pi now. All right, so we just finished transferring all over. I'm going to hit the Start button on my controller, go down to Quit. And you don't have to restart the whole system, just Emulation Station, which is super fast especially if you have a class 10 SD card. All right, so before we had all these, we should now have an SNES somewhere. Boom! Super Nintendo Entertainment System, 786 games. Go ahead and click A. So here are all our games. If you hold down, it should start speeding up and showing you letters. Fast scroll, and then letters to get to the bottom. No matter what game we go on, we have in the upper Right above me, all the way at the top, all the way at the top, you have the actual wording of the game, the title, and then we have the snap over here with the video. Now you can also hit select, jump to any letter you want. So we want Super Mario Kart. We just go over to here, go to S, press A, and now we're in S all of a sudden. We've got to go down to S, U, boom. There's a lot of super games, okay? Super Mario World 2, Super Mario World, and you're probably wondering, well, what if I want to see that box art we got? All right, stay with me here. Hit start. Go over to UI settings, transition, the theme set, and there's something called, that was, we're on Hursty Blue stock. You want to go over to Motion Blue, go ahead and go back. You're going to notice when you do this, there's no video snaps being played. There's no video being played here. You're like, what the hell? I screwed it all up. No, you didn't screw it all up. You just got to go back one screen and then go back in. And when you go back in, it's, it's right here again. So I actually like this one better. I, I think it's awesome. You can see like on the right, on the side over here, you don't get as many games. You can't see as many games at once. Um, but you get to see the box art where the box art isn't in the previous theme. And then you get the description there on the bottom. So it's a little more basic as far as like you don't see Mario and Luigi on the on the thing, but uh, you know you get everything really squared away here. Select works as well if you want to go jump a letter as well. Oh, Sailor Moon didn't copy over correctly. If you just hit select, you can jump over to a letter as well, and uh, you go right right and left. We'll just go to the next system over. Definitely want to play some Sim Ant. The so Street Fighter 2 Turbo, excellent game. Played many of the times at the neighbor's house. Bringing friends over. Max Turbo. Game start. the field.
Where's my hard you can hear? Oh, that's not good. Get away from me, dude. Jesus. You won't let me get any of my moves off. There we go. That was cheap ass mofo. He looks really happy though. Don't worry guys, I got this. I got this. I might be down, but I ain't out. There we go. He's blocking a lot of stuff. There we go. That one move though, it's so cheap. There we go. There it is. So close. All right, not down and out. Not down and out yet, guys. Okay, that's how you get wrecked at Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Tutorial. All right, and then you got uh, another great game, F-Zero. I mean, great soundtrack. I rose the ball. I raised the raise rose. Am I going? Okay. Whoa. Great racing game. Oh, got a little squirrely there. Check. All right, now we got this guy. I don't know what the blowing thing. He's got the LED kit on his car. Is that what's going on there? This guy again? Like, maybe I guess there's people with the same color car. Got him. Two laps remaining. And then this guy comes up again. I feel like this guy's just like a bit. There's his twin brother, too. I guess they throw this is like throwing your traffic trash. It's like Tetris throwing trash. You got all the Jeopardies in here. Okay, so you just go B to go back out. So that's that this is this is motion blue. It's that simple. You get the ROMs you want, you get the motion blue, you write it on your image, you boot it up, you can transfer the ROMs via Wi-Fi, which is the easiest way. If you'd like to transfer them through a USB flash drive, you can do that as well. I have a separate video uh, on this channel that'll tell you how to do that. Once you get the ROMs over there, it's a quibble switching, switching, restarting emulation station. Once you restart it, all your ROMs should be seen there. You can change the themes like I showed you. You could search the games like I showed you. It's that easy, it's a beautiful, image it's a beautiful way to display your game to show your friends and emulation station is such a breeze it's easy to search it's easy to find things it's really beautiful all over so if you like this video give it a little thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you like what i do and we'll see you on the next